Like I was literally walking with a limp. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, what's up, what's good with you? My name is Shani. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So in today's video y'all i'm just going to be laying it all out on the table i'm going to be updating you guys on the last six months of my life because girl it's been a little stressful so we're gonna do like a chit chat get ready with me i'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup i'm not really going to be telling you guys the products that i'm using on my face but i will definitely link it down below in my description box so make sure you guys check that out yes just bring you guys up to speed because i haven't really sat down and done a a chit chat get ready with me a beauty video i've i haven't really done that if you guys are up to date you guys know that i did just get an apartment i am in a new place so yeah if you guys are interested if you guys want to see this video catch up just watch a video um let's go ahead and get into this video all right so i'm starting off with my hair because last night was my wash day routine i usually do my wash day or co-washing day routine on saturdays because it takes my hair a while to dry so yeah lately i've been doing a twist out my curly fro routine but I just really did not feel like doing that last night. So I was like, hmm. I was looking at my old videos. I forgot the title of the video. But I had a top knot in my hair. And I was like, oh my gosh. I look so cute in that video. Let me do a top knot. Let's do a top knot. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do in this video. And yeah. Another thing. I was watching my videos yesterday. And I'm just like. I feel like I'm not the same person at all. Like the year 25 for me was just. Just an emotional roller coaster i was talking to my manager a while ago and she was like yeah don't feel bad because you know when i was 25 i was just an emotional wreck and that's how i felt like i was last year like just ridiculous <laughs> it was a good year money wise um outside of youtube but it was also mentally a very rough year. Which you guys know because I posted a video. Like I went missing for like a good three or four months on YouTube. I'm growing. I'm getting older. And you just don't do the same things you used to do. Um, oh yeah. So I washed my hair last night and I just put it in these little twists. I put some um, Cantu leave-in conditioner. I put that in my hair after I did my co-washing thing and i also cut my hair a little bit more last night because i don't know i just wanted to cut it last night i was just not trying to do my hair again and i did i was trying to force my hair to do my hair trying to force my hair i was trying to force myself to do my hair because y'all want a curly fro routine and i filmed it last week but i didn't finish filming it because i just don't really like how I don't know. Maybe I'm going to look back at the footage again and see. My hair is so wet. I thought it was going to be dry. Um, I'm going to look back at the footage and see how it's looking so that I can give y'all a curly um, fro routine because you guys really like my hair in a curly fro, which is crazy because I feel like it makes me look young and old at the same time. <laughs> Is that weird? I'm not prepared for this video. I thought I put everything on my desk. And this desk is just falling apart. Oh my. <laughs> Why did this just come off? Oh. Okay. So when it comes to this top knot, I like to work in sections. So let's put this in a bow. Y'all can see my underarms. And now to scoop out a whole bunch of gel, just lay it or brush it through, whatever you want to call it. I feel like this video is all over the place already. Uh, pulling out my baby hairs because I don't want them to get tied up too much. Oh my gosh, y'all can really see my underarms. Well, since I'm talking about underarms, y'all, I'm trying to brighten up my underarms because I feel like they're a little dark. Um, and it might be because I used to use Nair for a while. 
And that's another thing I stopped using there um, because my coworker keeps telling me it's not good for me, which I know, but shaving gives me razor bumps and um, I haven't tried waxing yet. And everything is closed right now, so I don't even feel comfortable with even trying to go get waxed by somebody. That's just not, not what's gonna happen, so. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my life. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in the process of trying to line up my underarms. You know, we in the house, so I'm just doing random stuff. Um, and I'm also trying to find a natural deodorant. I think I found one by Drunk Elephant. So I'm gonna order it and see how that goes. And I'll definitely update you guys, probably in a vlog or maybe in a video or maybe in like a, a, a self care video because I've been wanting to do like a self care video in my bathroom. If you guys aren't up to date, I did move. I'll link my apartment tour if you guys are interested. I'm still shocked at the fact that I actually put up an apartment tour because y'all know I don't really be doing all the little personal stuff on here, you know. I don't give y'all a lot of information. <laughs> what should I talk about? Cause I feel like I should be talking about something. I did write down some talking points in my notebook. Let me finish my hair before I try to do that. Cause I really need this to come out cute. All right, so once I get it all, all up in the back like this, I take this out while holding the back of my head. <laughs> just like this see this is what you gotta do when you got type 4 hair because i be seeing tutorials with people that have like 3a hair and it'd be super easy to do a top knot it's not that way for everybody let me just tell you this is a workout my arm right here is hurting okay <laughs> so i do that and i grab everything together because the back is already laid like that and i look at it to see if it's where i want it to be then i'm just going to put it in the top knot and i like to pull it like all the way up here Woo! okay the back of my head i like to pull out a little bit because i do not like the back of my head to be tight it just i don't know what it is i just do not like the feeling of it when the back of my head is like super super tight or when like one strand of hair is being pulled that annoys <laughs> the crap out of me all right then i'm gonna lay my baby hairs well pre-lay my baby hairs because they they gonna get messed up Okay, so baby hairs are pretty much laid right now. All right, so I do add hair. I probably don't need to, but I kind of want to just to make sure it stands up. I'm gonna take my clip ins and put it right here at the base of my ponytail and just clip it onto my hair, just like it. And then it's gonna start looking like a waterfall and that's how you want it to look, okay? And then, since that one is out of the way, I'm gonna bobby pin, not bobby pin, I'm gonna clip this one a little higher. Just, just put it in your head. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to see the clips once you do the top knot anyway, so it don't really matter how you place it. Now that it looks like a lopsided top knot, here's another key. You need another bow tie. I'm gonna wrap this in two since it's big. And then I'm going to do this little number. And tie it around it. Uh, this is so much harder to do on camera and explain. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Ugh. All right. Now we got this. You can pull it a little tighter if you don't want it to be too tall. Sometimes I like it to be tall because my head is big so i don't need like a tiny bun you can do the rest with like a a bow but i like to do my bobby pins because i can manipulate it a little bit more I'm just going to bobby pin the hair down around my bow like so 
and I'm just going to keep bobby pinning hair around my bow tie because I don't want the bow tie to be exposed. I want it to be covered up. Don't think about it too much because if you do, then it's not going to come out looking the way you want it to be looking. So just bobby pin. Don't think about it. Stick bobby pins everywhere, okay? All right, now that we got the base of the ponytail covered, we're going to start bobby pinning into the knot to secure everything into place. Oh, another reason why I like using um, clip-in extensions to do my top knot is because sometimes my hair is not curled completely and I be wanting like little curls to pop out. This is what I'm talking about. This is my hair right here. So I'm gonna bobby pin this in because it's just not curled. It's curled, but it looks like it's been messed with too much. So we're just gonna bobby pin that away. And that's, that's the top knot, y'all that's it i'm gonna keep messing with it but that's basically it all right let's move on to the fades because i don't want to cut off my top knot though let me see if i can zoom out can y'all see me i feel like y'all are going to tell me to zoom in i'm not really doing my makeup for real i'm just doing like a quick beat to show y'all my um running out the house makeup so i'm using my handy dandy cabal benefit brow um pomade and that's the color they have a little brush and a little top all right so i'm just filling in my brows slightly and i like to bring the front up a little bit more because my hairs don't stand up the way i want them to in the front of my brow so i'll be doing this Okay, so I already did my skincare routine, all that good stuff. I moisturized my face with the dramatically different lotion. This right here. Alright, so to prime my face, I'm using this Elf Furless Putty. <gasps> I forgot my sunscreen. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, before I prime my face, I put on sunscreen. And this is the Super Goop Sunscreen Really Bomb Sunscreen. I just rub this all over all right so sunscreen is on now I can put on the primer I mainly put it right here to control oils I really didn't want to put anything on my face today because yesterday I don't know if it's because I was using a spray on sunscreen but my face was burning all day like right here in this area i told y'all before um that this area of my face is super sensitive that's the only thing i changed about my routine yesterday and it's by the same company but my face did not like it all right so for concealer i'm going to be using the nc50 concealer from mac the 24 hour and i'm just going to put it right here i probably should have color corrected first usually i'll do my concealer like this when i'm color correcting but i've been liking to do this for my regular face routine because it's just really quick and it gets what i want to get and it's all good from there so once i put my concealer on i'll put my foundation on and i've been using these juvia's juvia play sticks i don't know which one i was using i have four in front of me right now because i use all of them i feel like my color be changing on the day is this the more yellow one? I think this is the one. Put it right here. Put it right here. I really don't want to butcher the name, so I'll link them down below. And I'll put this on the perimeter because this is a little bit darker. As y'all can see, I put it on my nose. It's a little bit darker and I just like the way it looks. So yeah, and my face is not just one color. So I really don't mind it. Oh too much i'm really not talking about nothing hold on let's see what should i talk about i don't know should i update you guys on what's been going on oh y'all know i just got my first apartment let's talk about that um because getting this apartment was just <laughs> i don't even know where to start because it was so much going on okay first of all the reason why it was so hard for me to get this apartment is because we were in the middle of a pandemic a lot of people were just not 
communicating with me okay let me run back let me run back so when i first started to look for places i was looking for a house and finding a house was it just wasn't happening and then i finally found a realtor after like two weeks of looking to show me the house that i wanted to see and i looked her up on facebook and the first thing i saw was something about trump she was a trump supporter and i was like I can no longer do business with this lady. I was like, dang, I'm back at square one. I was gonna just go ahead and look at the place, but it just wasn't sitting right in my spirit. I was like, no, I can't even go look at this place with her. She was a nice lady. I mean, she didn't do anything to me. I was just trying to pick my um, battles very wisely. And I was like, mm, yeah, I can't. So that was that. After that happened, I was completely done with like looking for houses because at that point I was entering the third week of me looking for the house and I had 30 days to get out of my old house. So it was coming down to the time where we needed to be packing up and getting out of the house. And I don't know why I thought I could find a house in less than 30 days and clothes on it and all this good stuff but um yeah that didn't happen. So then I started just looking for apartments and looking for apartments was hard too because nobody was in the office like you're supposed to be in the office but you just can't let nobody in you know what i'm saying there was absolutely nobody in the offices i was calling this one complex because i really wanted to move into um this newly built complex and it was under what i was willing to pay so i was like you telling me I can move into this complex and I'm going to be saving money. I'm going to be saving more than what I was expecting. I was like, yes, let me do this. Try to get that apartment. Like, I can't, I can't say it enough. Nobody was calling me back. This is why I was looking for other apartment complexes as well. Not only was I communicating with this one complex or trying to, but I was also still keeping my options open. So I was still driving to look at places still looking places up online and it just was not going good so the place that i'm at now was a place that was a little out of my price range of what i wanted to pay after i found out that we needed to move a week later i found out that i was on furlough if you guys are new to my channel or you just don't know anything about me um i work at matt cosmetics and i've been working there for about five years so I was like, not only do I have to be out of this place, now my main stream of income is gone. <laughs> so now I'm not only stressed about the pandemic, I'm not only stressed about where I'm going to be living, where my family is going to be living, what we're all going to do. Not only am I stressed about these two huge things, I'm also stressed about not having a job okay guy okay it's getting real okay it's getting real okay before all of this happened after my birthday i ended up hurting my back and um i, I didn't really think anything of it when i hurt my back i just was like okay everything's good i'll stay off of it for a night literally a night took some pain medicine and then um it went away but then i ended up re-hurting my back because I got back in the gym, I was lifting, and I think I pulled a muscle or something. And then after that, my back started spazzing. Um, I left it alone for the weekend, and then came Monday, I went to work, and then my back wouldn't stop spasm. I basically was having muscle spasms, and if you guys don't know what muscle spasm is, it's basically when the muscle in your back is contracting. So my muscle in my back were, was contracting, and it wasn't letting go like it, it was literally spazzing to the point where my um my spine or my back was like this so i had all of my weight my hip was like this and all of my weight was on this i think my left leg i don't know went to the chiropractor no actually i was at work and i did two clients i got through half of my shift and my back was hurting while i was doing my two girls makeup they love their makeup i don't know how i did it who that was like the most pain i've ever um so i did their makeup i went to the back and when i went to the back my um my boss she noticed that i just i looked like i was in pain she was like do you need me to call somebody in to cover your shift and i was like i mean yeah but i don't want to be a, a burden on anybody i don't want i have a problem with doing that to myself 
I don't want to I don't want you to call somebody in because you know people be off so I ended up leaving for my break oh that's when I went back there when I was about to go on break so I walked to my car still in pain like in ex in pain pain once I sat down in my car it's like I it's like I couldn't move like my back started to spaz even more my mom was in the back of my mind she was like because she told me previously I needed to go to the chiropractor that thought popped up in my head and I was like let me find the nearest chiropractor good thing it was like in the area got in there um he did an x-ray on me and then that's when he saw that you know my back was spazzing and he asked me what I did and I was like I'm re -heard it because I went to the gym and I also moved my bed by myself and my bed is really solid I had a queen size bed and I didn't move anything off the bed I moved the box spring and I moved the mattress by myself I lifted it off of the lifters um and then I moved my bed to the other side of the room I probably shouldn't have did that but that's what I did don't ask me why I didn't ask for help I just didn't ask for help and I just ended up hurting my bed okay I know not to do that now like I was literally walking with a limp so he put me on this table it's like I don't know it looked like a massage table but it had like stuff hooked up to it he attached something to my back and then I don't know if he rubbed something on my back but it was like little um them little round sticky things that you stick on your chest like when you're in the hospital he put those on my back and then um we did cold therapy and then I had to lay back but laying back was the most excruciating pain ever because I literally could not move my back I couldn't move my back is this more to y'all oh my gosh okay while i was doing the cold therapy it was fine but once i started to i guess aggravate my back it just kept it just kept hurting even worse so we did the hot therapy and then after the hot therapy i was just in tears went to the other room and he tried to crack some stuff and then that was just it he told me that i needed to go to the er and he was like do um do you need me to call the ambulance because I don't want you to drive? So I was like, no, I definitely don't want you to call the ambulance because it... Do y'all know how much riding in the ambulance costs? This shit is expensive. So I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll call somebody to come take me. So I called my mama. She wasn't picking up because she was at work. Called my sister. She wasn't picking up. And then I called Frances. Frances didn't know what was going on. I was on the phone crying. Her mom, I scared her mom. And I kept apologizing for her. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. She was like, so that's why you asked me for painkillers earlier today? And I was like, yeah. She was like, girl, why didn't you tell me that you were in pain? I was like, I mean, it was really nothing. Setting my face with dark Urban Decay powder. All right, so I'm just gonna press this in to set my under eyes. All right, so yeah, Francis ended up taking me to the ER. They injected me with something and they told me to stay off my back for like a week. So I was kind of like in the bed for a whole week. Well, not a whole week. I was in the bed for like three days because I had three days off back to back. And then after the three days, I took some medicine they gave me and I went to work. Um, My boss asked me, you know, how was everything? And I was like, everything's good. But when I got to work, I was like, I kind of feel like woozy a little bit and she was like what did your medicine say i was like it told me not to drive <laughs> and she was like yo you're probably high right now <laughs> and i was like oh i am i was like that's why i feel like that's why i feel like i'm floating after that happened i ended up getting sick for like a whole week didn't know what the heck was wrong with me it was just hitting pollen season so i think the pollen irritated my sinuses i don't know it happens every year once the pollen starts to come out my allergies start tripping and my sinuses start to trip and it just causes a headache um and then after coming off of being sick the next week i ended up losing my voice when i say my voice was gone i called my brother for his birthday because he's not in the states right now and he was like what the heck happened to your voice i was like I don't know it's gone so yeah i was like literally going through it for a good month after my birthday it was just like stuff happening and i was just like what's happening <laughs> i'm using coco Too face powder my eyes are watering and i want it to stop and while i was doing all of that i was just trying to get finances under control keep up to date on my bills 
so I put everything on auto pay because I didn't want to be late on everything because I was in the process of getting stuff removed off of my credit or removing stuff off my credit so I was trying to do that I paid off a credit card yay I wasn't expecting to move out um, until a year from now so next year this time that's when I was planning to move out that's when I was like okay I'll have enough money in my bank account to move and furnish another place um but yeah all of that happened very very quickly the main reason why it was so hard for me to get the apartment and why I didn't get approved the first time is because I have no job you know what I'm saying that really affected a lot of stuff I didn't think it was going to affect a lot of stuff but it definitely did not having my main stream of income which is why I keep telling y'all don't rely on one stream of income so yeah I was technically laid off and then um, I got an email from Victoria's Secret and they told me that they lowered my um, they lowered the amount that I can spend so they lowered it and I was like why did they lower my credit limit and I called them and they basically told me because now that you're unemployed we have to lower it and it happens automatically and I was like freaking serious i was like i didn't even tell y'all that i'm unemployed so what the heck when i went to apply for the apartment that the only apartment that was really communicating with me actively and i had to like get papers from my management team because i had to send pay stubs to you know you have to have pay stubs and all that stuff the last pay stub i had was dated back in march so that's the last check that i got from my job they were like where is we need a more recent pay stub basically. I'll just stop doing my makeup. I'm gonna put my lashes on in a minute. So yeah, if I didn't have my YouTube stream of income, if I didn't have proof of my YouTube stream of income and pay stubs and all that stuff, shout out to my management team because they really came through. But yeah, that's basically why I'm telling you guys, for one, make sure you get your credit intact. That would have been another thing. If my credit score wasn't decent, if you have good credit, do not mess it up it's going to take a lot to get it back to where it needs to be i went from like a 720 i told y'all my 25th year my 24th year it was rough we'll get into credit another day <laughs> i know sometimes it's beyond your control which was my case if you can help it do not overspend do not mess up your credit just just don't just don't do not do it because it's really going to affect a lot of stuff you don't think that is going to affect a lot of stuff but it is going to affect a lot of stuff if your credit isn't where it needs to be make sure you have a good stable job make sure all of your side hustles are legit make sure you keep a paper trail make sure you keep receipts what other type of advice can i give please save make sure y'all are saving every single month you need to be setting aside something it can be ten dollars it can be twenty five dollars i know it's hard to save especially when your job isn't paying you enough money because that was my case a while ago like i wasn't making enough so that's when i got another job at express if you're going to be spending your money make sure you're investing your money into something that can make you money or something that you can sell back for money if stuff hit the fan you just have to start selling stuff make sure your stuff has a value to it and make sure your stuff keeps and holds a value and don't live beyond your means <laughs> and when you get a new job that's paying you more than what you were making you still need to be operating how you were operating at a lower income you don't increase your monthly expenses when you start making more money keep your monthly expenses the same because if you do that then you're just going to be making money to pay off your bills making money to pay off bills that's going to be your cycle saving your money and keeping your income is really what's going to give you that financial freedom that everybody wants so if you're spending your money on bills if all of your income is going to bills what is going to be keeping you you know what is going to be getting you out i've been learning a lot of life lessons right now because girl it has it really has been rough and god is good i just have to say that because <laughs> oh y'all i was really tripping my anxiety was um doing the most as far as the pandemic and police brutality it's been a lot going on a lot but i've also been really blessed this year 
which is another reason why I uploaded um my apartment tour because I was I was just so relieved I was so grateful that I was in the position to make that move before I wanted to make the move there was a sermon because after I had my panic attack I was like I was just in a state of fear yeah I watched a sermon and I'll link it below I forgot her name and after I watched that it put everything into perspective for me and it really calmed me down I was over here tripping tripping which I mean it's normal like everything I was going through or still going through it was a lot it, it would be a lot for anybody to handle so yeah that helped me calm down and um, getting approved for the apartment was really big for me and I didn't want to even tell you guys because it was just a lot of stuff going on and I didn't feel like I should be celebrating God was like you need to post that video you said stuff at the end of the video that you are kind of cringing about but people need to hear what you said at the end of that video whether they believe in me or not period so post it and I was like, okay, God, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, while I have y'all, best friend, y'all know best friend. Best friend is launching her podcast on July 19th. And I'm so happy for her. I'm so excited for her. She's always the one that gives me sound advice. Like when I'm tripping out here, like when I'm like, oh my head. She's like best friend you know it's okay she's she's the more same friend i'm the i'm the friend that would be like nah sis you need to go you need to go fuck your shit up <laughs> or i'll say something off the wall and she'll be like what she really means <laughs> what she really means is this she didn't really mean it like that she meant that but she meant to say it like this she's that friend <laughs> she's going out with a podcast y'all i'm trying to find it and it's called godly millennials <laughs> i gotta say that word slow that's the name of her podcast super excited for her and i cannot wait to listen and if you guys want to listen if you, i'll pop it on the screen it will be going live on july 19th and like i said i'm super excited for her go follow the page oh the the highlighter that i just put on is rising star from MAC, this was their holiday collection. I'm about to put another highlighter on, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow Highlighter. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's the highlighter. And I'm just going to put that on top. Listen, this, <laughs> this highlighter, I thought there was a mirror in there. Embarrassing. And this is a drugstore highlighter. It's CoverGirl. And it looks so good. I just like to be really glowy. Okay. I just pulled this e.l.f. blush palette. And I'm going to use probably this color. I don't know if y'all can tell if it's there. But I can tell it's there. <laughs> All right, for gloss. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. I have on my Hey Girl lashes. Her name is Amanda Dizzle on Instagram. And I love her lashes. Even though I stacked them, I did stack them. Y'all already know me. I'm, I'm always stacking lashes. Y'all be like, you just need to come out with your own. And I just be like... <laughs> I know. The lip gloss that I'm wearing is from Revlon. And the color super natural. Um, yeah, everything is gonna be okay. Make sure you guys 
are voting um, make sure you're registered to vote I'll link some stuff down below because if we really want to see a change it starts with us it starts with educating ourselves a little bit more on the laws our legislators our governors our our judges we really have to pay attention to the laws that are being passed and voting against the laws that we don't want to be passed there's something called qualified immunity something that i recently found out about and i was just looking it up when it comes to cop brutality and when it comes to um just cops not being charged and it's because of qualified immunity just to keep it a buck it gives them another layer of protection so yeah i was just like Dang. being a black woman being being just a black person in general it's just harder for us it's it's, it's plain it's harder for us you just got to make sure you're on your p's and q's like even when i'm out driving i'm always looking in my rear view mirror i'm always all even when i'm not even doing anything wrong not, not doing anything, i'm just living you know what i'm saying i don't know y'all i'm pretty sure every black person feels me on this we have to think about stuff that some people don't have to think about you know what i'm saying the world is just now seeing how it is to live as a black person and we have been experiencing this since forever i ha i haven't really had experiences with face-to-face -face racism but there has been there's always situations where you're just like you just look at people sideways that's all i have to say and thank you guys so much for watching this video um i love y'all thank you so much for the love and support and i will see y'all in the next video that i'm placing on the screen because watch another video and make sure you're subscribed <laughs> bye y'all